Yield five minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Elsey. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise in strong support of this bill, and I'd like to thank Chairman Cole for his leadership in getting this bill to the floor quickly. The Defense Department can another, uh, afford another one-year CR. I'd also like to thank Chairman Calvert for his vision and commitment, and the subcommittee staff on both sides of the aisle for their hard work in crafting this legislation in very short time. The bill before us today makes several notable timely investments. One of the most important investments is the Navy's sixth generation fighter, the FAXX. Our Navy, our joint force, and our future combatant commanders need this aircraft. Relying only on the Air Force's sixth generation fighter, the F-47, does not solve our air superiority challenge. I'm a fervent supporter of the F-47 and would have done everything necessary to ensure that it was built. Unfortunately, some in the Pentagon think this is an either-or choice, but it's basic math. We need more airframes, land-based and carrier-based, and we need to complicate our adversaries' targeting. We can't do either of those with only the Air Force's plan by. We avoid war by ensuring that our enemy knows that we will win. We win with both the FAXX and, not the, and the F-47, not one or the other, but don't take my word for it. Our high-ranking uniformed leaders, warriors all, shared with us the importance of having both Air Force and Navy sixth-generation fighters. Admiral Paparo, commander of the Indo-PACOM, a man for whom I've worked for and flown with and highly admire. General Alvin, Chair Chief of Staff of the Air Force, Admiral Kilby, the acting CNO. General Kane, our Chairman of Joint Chiefs. These experienced and highly decorated warfighters all see the oper operational necessity of both Generation 6 aircraft. So, who's against it? Bean counters and academics. Wearing suits to work, not uniforms. Many are well-meaning, but many have earned a nice living telling us we can't do something when we absolutely can. I challenge you to wonder if we would have won World War II with those who provide hurdles for us instead of a smooth path. What troubles me is that a couple of scientists working deep inside the Pentagon and a couple of wings that frankly don't need to be used have the power to counter the operational assessments of several four stars. I respect the work they do and the scope with which they do it, but their spreadsheets shouldn't be the final word. A three-year delay is de facto cancellation and a win for China. And China is watching. And while they're watching, they're building ships at a torrid pace. They've got three Generation 6 airplanes and aircraft carriers they are building at an astonishing rate. China doesn't want us to build the FAXX because that opens the Davidson window. If we do build it, it closes it. And that's exactly why, she, why we should. And that's why I'd like to thank Chairman Calvert for the generational investment in the FAXX. And finally, I'm humbled to be standing here in the well of the House representing the patriots of Texas 6, Americans who believe in a strong national defense. This bill makes smart investments in defense and in America's might and the prevention of war, but if necessary, winning it. I yield back the balance of my time.